My name is Nick Ross. I work for Diverse and Resilient and I'm an advocate. How long have I been connected to the Fox Cities? I graduated from high school, from Nina High School in 2004. Uh, went to middle school in Menasha and after college moved back to Appleton and I've been living here ever since. What are some of my favorite spots in the Fox Cities? For restaurants, there's like the trifecta of Cozy Corner, Bowl 91, and Basil Cafe. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. They're amazing. So what inspires me about the work I do professionally is just the uh, strength and resilience I see from the people that I work with every day. Um, you know, it is the people who are facing crisis, you know, they're often asked to be strong and that's like really not fair all the time. People should just be able to exist and live their lives and enjoy things, but I really do get inspired by the daily interactions I have with the people that I work with. Who has been an influential person in my life? Um, there have been lots of influential people in my life. I feel that, you know, no one does anything on an island. Um, I am, you know, in the position I am today because of people in the community who have cared for me and nurtured me. Um, so, you know, I, and especially there are so many women of color, for example, who have been amazing mentors and guides. So people like Kathy Flores, the uh, former director of diversity and inclusion for the city of Appleton, who's now my boss. Uh, Yi Lee, a former Future 15 winner who uh, manages to own and run multiple businesses while also working at a library, while also raising her family, while also staying involved in the community and pursuing her education. Uh, and, you know, another one of my uh, colleagues uh, in this cohort, Kristen Gondek, who started People of Progression, these are all people who are super inspiring, who take, uh, take the reins when they see problems and uh, know that there are solutions, they go for it and make everything a better place for everyone. And that has impacted me as an individual as well. As a young professional, what I love about uh, living and working in the Fox Cities is that, you know, the people in my generation and even younger, um, we are ready. We are ready to make a difference. Um, we know there are challenges. We know there are barriers but that is not going to stop us from doing what needs to be done to make this place better for everyone. So in 10 years, I would love it if we could say hate has no home here. And I think there are, um, you know, that might seem like a lofty goal, but I think that with the, uh, you know, millennials and Gen Z, if you wanna put it that way, but with the dynamic, diverse, young professionals we have in our community, um, I think we really have the ability to, uh, you know, flip some tables if we need to, sit at them and have discussions if we need to, but I really believe that we can get it done if we work together.